I've been on the road since June, and I have seen four British chancellors and, and three prime ministers. <laughs> As was going to happen, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland are going to have a referendum to see if England should be allowed to remain in the UK. It's getting <laughs> fucking embarrassing. <laughs> As was coming. <laughs> We've been through a lot of shit. Two years and under COVID restrictions, we never knew the House of Commons was like Magaluf right through the hall. <laughs> the proper lockdown as well. They were raving April, May 2020 when it was proper family quiz every Saturday night sitting with your head shaved, the whole family. Like fucking Marines. <laughs> iPhone propped up against a Yankee candle. <laughs> well, it was Boris Johnson. He was on the decks the whole fucking time. Order! Order! His jaw's been swinging the whole way through it. Well, we were in Sainsbury's forgetting tomato puree, petrified to perform a three point turn up a one way aisle. <laughs> <laughs> People glaring at you, my dad's gas, my you fucking maniac! That way! <laughs> oh, that shit we lived through. <laughs> they, had to, they had to drag an apology out of Boris. He was going to ride that out right to the bitter end, even when people were shouting, Prime Minister, there were only 20 people allowed at my grandmother's funeral. Boris was borderline. Fucking dig it up then. See if I give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> telling us, telling us only, only free households could socialise. All that shit when you had to be ruthless planning any social event, having to break it to your mate who lived on his own that he can't come to your barbecue because he's a waste of a house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gary, you can't come, mate. I can get four in there. Mate, it's my birthday. I'm not playing a four, I'm not playing a four four one on my birthday. No chance. Give me a quid or you're getting stabbed. Just you.